This is Zanae Green's seventh birthday. Her mom posting the video on Facebook Sunday. A party in the hospital nearly five months after the girl was electrocuted during a family outing at MGM National Harbor. Shocked by 120 volts running through a dangerously electrified illuminated handrail. A jolt that left her with brain damage and unable to walk or talk. And as of today, her family officially blames MGM National Harbor for it. A lawsuit filed this morning in PG County claims the resort knew there was defective, shoddy and reckless electrical wiring on site, yet ignored a series of warning signs, including video evidence that a violent shock was imminent, like the one that left Zanae Green permanently and totally disabled. In a statement, MGM Resort said, We are all heartbroken that Zanae Green and her family continue to suffer, adding, We will respond to this lawsuit in the appropriate venue, which is in court. It is in civil court right now, but there is also an ongoing criminal investigation, a parallel probe that's still active, Prince George's County Police confirmed to 11 News, still involving the FBI. The inquiry, officials say, is to find out if cutting corners or even corruption caused this little girl's horrible injuries. And in its statement, MGM Resorts also claims, quote, we do not compromise safety when constructing our facilities. Reporting live from the studio tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.